The assistant U.S. attorney, Elliot McLean, said that the DEA is working with us on this case to scam the jury. And John Hudasak and assistant U.S. attorney, Elliot McLean, worked together. And he said that DEA John Guzman would tell Congress and the House of Representatives during the pardon stages because he doesn't want those dummies that's coming in with these three false motions and they're going to take them and receive them and forge uh, assaults, uh, forge another indictment assaulting Amy Wright. He said those scientists are pure idiots. Those federal agents are pure idiots. NSA, NASA are pure idiots and they can't scheme against the DEA. Now we're either going to work together or we're not going to work together. We're stopping drugs. You're, you're going to regulate drugs. Then you want to force some monetary movements on Linda L. Montgomery's spouse neck to snap his neck and put the microwave heat on his heart. No, the DEA is not going for it. That was our man going to the Alicorpa, the bus Alicorpa, and we busted him through him and only through him. If it was not for him, we would not been able to bust Alicorpa. We would not be able to stop drugs in Alicorpa. And we stopped it. He will continue his good work for the good Lord and not no white boy and no U.S. government scamming, forcing voluntary movements on him. The U.S. Marshal will be brought in to hear about the black voodoo. And the assistant U.S. Attorney Ellen McClain said we're going to promote these three false motions. And we're going to make sure that these whiteys are brought to justice. Judge Brooke Smith is not going to lose his career, is not going to lose all of his cases because some dumbass white boys are plotting against the assistant U.S. attorney, Elliot McClain, and the U.S. attorney that filed the three motions, knowing that they were forgery, 170 plus pages. That's going to go to the archives so that these fools that are going to be putting the microwave heat on Amy Ross' heart and his mother's heart and his little brother's heart, James Tyrone, Revelation 12, 5, so that they won't be able to tell the world the truth because these whiteys want to keep living in this paganism world, living in this KKK schemes, living in this white supremacy saying, oh, we have privileges. We're going to lie to the whole world. We're going to go in the world and we're going to promote the Santa Claus coming down the chimney on the 24th of December. And we are the white dummies that like to forge indictments and we create weapons. The CIA created a heart attack gun and the FBI Gina Blame was withheld from the court so she couldn't testify against the dummies committing perjury. And John Hudasek said, well, we're going to let them commit perjury. It's subordination of perjury and they're good at it and they're going to be experts at it and no one's going to be able to stop them. The jury won't be able to tell why they're committing perjury, but they will commit the greatest perjury case ever to exist on the planet, and John Hudasek will go down as the greatest lawyer with Assistant U.S. Attorney Ellie McLean and Judge Brooke Smith, the greatest federal judge that ever lived on the face of the earth. Recording live, 103.4 JGZ Radio.